What up there guys, this is Jugged A2 and this is a video response to a great YouTuber by the name of Video Game Tech One. Um basically he received a 32X free. And um I've always wanted one of those. I remember when, when I first got my Sega Genesis back in the day, I, I wanted to get a 32X for one reason, raw 32X. It was a wrestling game and also WrestleMania, the arcade game on the 32X. And uh, it was a couple other games I wanted to get it on there. I think uh, it was a Sonic the Hedgehog game that was on the 32X also. And I wanted to get that as well because uh, it was enhanced graphics, almost 30, uh, super 32-bit in, in terms. Uh, that's why it was 30, called the 32X. And it just uh, was something I always wanted to have also. But to get it one free, uh, congrats, bro. Uh, that's, that's, that's a hookup. And basically this video response is about... Uh, Noel uh, said that uh, what deals have you guys ever gotten on a game or a system or a game where you got it free or just got it for a really low price and there are two systems I received from a great YouTuber by the name of Big Daddy Darth uh, an NES and a Sega Genesis for free I never did anything you know uh, to you know I, I never paid anything for him and he sent them and it was really cool for him to do that uh, as it relates to something I got on my own, sorry about the burping because I'm drinking a good old 211. But yeah, as it relates to actual games that I've bought on my own, uh, there are a couple of games. The first game I have here is a game called Bugsby. And uh, it's uh, for the Super NES. Uh, man, I didn't know anything about this particular game series. I know there are a couple. Of, I found that there were a couple of other games that came out for the system uh, for not only the Super Nintendo but the Sega Genesis as well as the PC. And Busby is kind of like a it's kind of like a crank, uh, Cranker's Bad Fur Day character if you think about it, or the remnants of them. Uh, very very cartoony game, very very colorful graphics, really fun game, uh, made by Accolade, it's a great company uh, that made all earlier Super NES games and so forth but uh, this game is really in really good condition as you can see the front cover of the game the actual the back of it this has a little bit of writing you barely can tell though and it's really clean in the inside every time I pop the game in it plays just like that really fun game though the next game I had the game bleh, tongue tied the next game I have is actually a wrestling game because I'm a huge wrestling fan. And this game right here, I never even knew they actually had it for the Super NES. And that is WCW Super Brawl. This game features a whole bunch of wrestlers like Sting, a Nature Boy Ric Flair. Woo! Big Bad Vader, it's time! But uh, yeah. I'm going to my impression face. But yeah, this game right here, it's, when I first played it, I played it for about two or three days and I just put it somewhere because I thought it was very very hard to play and then over time I realized how you could really get into this game and how you can really actually play it and it's a really good it's a really good game it has this game itself it doesn't have Hulk Hogan so you're not going to be running wild on this game but uh, it does have a bunch of classic WCW wrestlers at that particular era because the game was kind of dated when it came out because the majority of these wrestlers weren't even in the WWE W WCW and we were in the WWF so you know really really great game all in all and I got this game off of GameStop or uh, at the time EB Games and before they merged and whatnot and at that time they still sold Super NES games and uh, older games and I only paid like three dollars for it and it's a pretty rare game because many people don't even realize that WCW had a wrestling game for the Super NES. They know they had, they had one for the NES, but they didn't know they had one for the Super NES, though. So, yeah, pretty rare game to me to have. It's fine. By the way, on the Busby game, um, I paid like $2 for it, and I found out it's if it's a box copy, it can go anywhere. It's between 50 and $60. Bucks. Uh, the next game I have is a game that uh, I got because of a great YouTuber by the name of uh, LMA187 uh, suggested it to me. I still haven't played this game because I'm, you know, I work, and also I play a lot of Call of Duty when I actually get a chance to play some gaming. And this game right here is The Legend of Dragoon, and I got it for five bucks. Let's see if I 
I put it up there today. Five bucks. Still have the sticker on it. I don't know why I didn't just take it off. But five bucks. Got it from a pawn shop. Found out this game, and it is complete except for the main. It's not so. It's not completely complete. But it has all four discs, and I found out this game can go anywhere between seventy and eighty bucks. So this game, other than me not having the manuals, I probably would still have like a forty dollar game right here, and I only paid five bucks for it. So I really think I got a good deal on here, and uh, like I say. I constantly look at the back of this game because it's really, really amazing. Because uh, this was on the play, it was on the PlayStation 2, and graphics look really, really good. It looks like PlayStation 2 get graphics, uh, or you know, and it just looks like a really good game. I'm really going to try to get into this game. I'm going to probably next day I'm off, pop this in, play some of that. Might do a first play vid on it. I don't know, I, you know. But those are three games that I've received. That I feel I got a really good hook deal on, uh, you know. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen Video Game Tech One's channel, he does a lot of great reviews. He's a really great creator, uh, wrestling creator. If you have a wrestling game where you know you do creations on it and stuff, because I like seeing videos like that. I like seeing people who take the time to put together stuff on their games. He has just recently received WWE 12. He's done a lot of stuff with hooking up the Royal Rumble, check that video out the Royal Rumble video he did the wrestling ring looks just like the Royal Rumble from back in 1991 it, it looks just like it but yeah, check his channel out Video Game Tech 1, this was a video response, I don't know how long this video is going on I'm rambling, rambling, rambling but yeah, this is Jughead82, finna finish drinking on my 211, signing off